Tonight on CTV News, special experiments are taking place on the Foothills campus. We'll show you an experiment that brought them heat. And in sports, updates on the men's and women's basketball teams, plus softball news. And entertainment anchor Emma Iannacon heads to Old Town and tries out physics-inspired toys. All this and more tonight on CTV News. Good evening, Rams. I'm Kay Bennett. And I'm Frank Conley, filling in for Grace Reader. According to a proposed traffic plan, 10,000 spectators will have to walk to or ride a bike to CSU's new on-campus stadium to keep traffic low. CSU is working on an operational framework with the City of Fort Collins and Transport to address expected stadium traffic. A full operational plan is expected to be finished this fall. The Structural Lab and the Engineering Research Center are collecting and analyzing results. Last Thursday, Dr. Mahmoud and a graduate student conducted an experiment they say is done for the first time ever in history. This fan doesn't stand a chance. Today we're going to about 1100 degree Fahrenheit. Yeah, 1100 degree Fahrenheit, yep. CSU's Bashir Ahmadi is ready for the experiment today. I'm doing this for my uh, uh, master's thesis and we're very excited. Testing a cracked steel beam under elevated temperatures and some serious weight. We're expecting about 24,000 pounds, 24 kips. This experiment is about to begin. Under the supervision of Dr. Mahmoud, an actuator adds 2,000 pounds every step. Let's kill it. To a cracked steel beam. One step at a time. To see if it will fracture from the crack under the weight or bend as a whole from the heat. The crack is getting wider. Look, look. A few minutes into the experiment, this happened. <laughs> At 29,000 pounds. Results that Dr. Mahmoud says has some serious real world applications on steel bridges. There has been 500 cases of, of, of bridges catching on fire. An experiment he says is making moves nationally. So there is now a movement in the U.S. in terms of research to do research under elevated temperatures. And I'm excited to say that CSU is, uh, is one of the, one of the, now the leading universities uh, in that front. And around the globe. First in the world to ever run a test with a, on a beam with a crack. At, at elevated temperature. Well, no one considered looking at this before, so we're the first people to evaluate this uh, type of behavior. For their next experiment, bolts will be tested for the Army Corps of Engineers for the application of navigational structures scheduled for next week. If you're an engineering student, you'll want to stop by the Hilton Fort Collins on Thursday. CSU is holding an engineering fair from 10 to 4, which will focus on topics that include technology, construction, and life sciences. Students can chat with employees, employers, and organizations about jobs and internships. The event is free, and while it is engineering focused, all CSU students are welcome, including alumni. For a list of companies attending the fair, visit engineering.colostate.edu. The number of crimes in Fort Collins this past year have remained steady, with one exception. If your car was broken into, unfortunately, you're not alone. The official number of 2015 car thefts released by the Colorado Bureau of Investigation is 236. That's 63 percent higher than the year before. The Gallup Health Ways Wellbeing Index for 2015 placed Fort Collins at the top of the list for well-being in Colorado. Nationwide, Fort Collins ranked fourth. The city scored high in social support, me, social support measures and community pride. Fort Collins' lowest score was in the purpose category, which asked people if they were motivated to reach their goals. Boulder took the number seven spot nationwide. No surprise here, a new brewery is opening up in town. Right behind Illegal Pete's, the Denver-based Post Brewing Company will open a tap room this spring in Old Town. The entrance will be in the Old Firehouse Alley. The Downtown Development Authority in Fort Collins wants to improve alleys around Old Town and attract more foot traffic towards them. The new tap room will be one of the first businesses in Old Town with public entrances in an alley. One Northern Colorado author is turning tragedy into a movement. Shaken by the bully-driven suicide of a young Fort Collins girl, Harrison Hand created a social media craze like the Ice Bucket Challenge. Anyone can show their support against bullying by posting a photo in braids with the statement, if you're being bullied, I got your back. Is this nice cool weather here to stay? Weather anchor Elizabeth Prossy can answer that after the break. And later on in entertainment, unique physics toys in Old Town. Tune in to KCSU, your student-run radio station at Colorado State University. Live 24 hours a day, every day at 90.5 FM and KCSUFM.com. Live local new music now, and news, talk, and sports. 
KCSU, the radio voice of Colorado State, on the air since 1964. You're watching CTV, produced by Colorado State University students, bringing you news, weather, sports, and entertainment from campus and beyond. CTV live Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m. on campus and Fort Collins on Channel 11. Repeats at midnight, 8 a.m., noon, and 2 p.m. The Rocky Mountain Collegian is your student-run news and information platform. Pick up your paper on campus or around Fort Collins Monday through Thursday with special editions Fridays. And check out collegian.com anytime for all the latest updates. News, sports, entertainment, opinion, and more. The Rocky Mountain Collegian, serving Colorado State since 1891. College Avenue has been your student magazine for the last 10 years. College Avenue prints once a month covering topics that are relevant to the CSU and Fort Collins community. We also print special editions like the graduation guides at the end of each semester, the best of CSU each fall, and the orientation guide each summer. Look for us on racks around campus, off campus, or online at collegian.com under the College Avenue tab. <coughs> Welcome back Rams, I'm weather anchor Elizabeth Prossi with your latest weather update. The good news is this nice weather is here to stay. We've got a lovely evening here at Colorado State University. Currently we're looking at temperatures just above freezing, 36 degrees. Do have a slight breeze coming out of the north though. Overall, going to be a nice night and we have a full moon. That is right, we've got a nice moon for you this evening that will be peaking just before 8 o'clock. We've got a few clouds moving in later on tonight, but overall going to stay above freezing for your Wednesday night. Taking a look out across the state, we can see temperatures are going to be in those upper teens along the I-25 corridor. Even got a few 20s, 24 degrees in Denver. Out on the eastern plains, though, we are looking at those upper teens as well. 19 degrees in Lamar, 13 degrees, though, in Lyman. Fort Collins, those clouds keep us a little bit warmer. We're going to have 21 degrees, though, for tonight. Looking ahead to your Thursday, lots of sunshine for you as well. And maybe grab those sunglasses. We'll have a few clouds as you head out tomorrow morning, 24 degrees but warming up. So with your sunglasses, grab that lunch and eat it outside. Going to have 44 degrees warming up into those upper 40s by tomorrow afternoon. As you can see, we're going to be right around average for this time of year. Across the state, though, tomorrow is looking to be pretty average as well. We've got 50s along the I-25 quarter. Warmer, though, on the eastern plains. Mar, you're looking at 54 degrees. And Grand Junction, you're looking at 52 degrees. Gunnison, though, you're just below freezing at 30 degrees for your Thursday. And then we're going to see temperatures get even warmer. That's right. Take a look at Saturday, 64 degrees for your high. I cannot believe it is still February. Sunday, oh, that's when we're going to have a storm system start moving through. Going to have most of the activity be in the mountains west of us here in Fort Collins for your Sunday. Monday night and the Tuesday, oh, that's when we're going to start seeing that impact. Now the models are showing a bubble around Fort Collins, so it's really hard to tell quite where that storm will hit. As you see, we are going to see those temperatures start cooling down once again. And of course, with those cooler temperatures, we're going to see some precipitation, rain, possibly some snow. And that is Monday night and the Tuesday for the beginning of your work week. Overall, though, going to be a wonderful weekend. So let's talk about our ski resort of the week, and that goes to Wolf Creek, Colorado. Wolf Creek got two inches of snow and actually eight inches over the last 48 hours for a 91-inch base of nice packed powder for your skiers out there. And we've got seven of the eight lists open right now in Wolf Creek, so go ahead this weekend, head out. It's going to be nice Saturday and Sunday, so take your pick either day. And we have two birthdays in the house at CTV. It is Frank's mom's birthday and of course my mother's birthday. So I'd like to give a happy birthday shout out for your birthday forecast. I'm predicting lots of birthday cake and hopefully a wonderful birthday dinner for you, Deb and Ellen. Coming up next, we've got sports. Don't go away. Me and my boy Matt had it good. He had catnip that was off the hook. But one day, he brings a girl home, and she's allergic to cats. Every sneeze was a nail in my coffin. 
Now I'm in a shelter. It's decent, but they don't even have Wi-Fi. It's a big game night for the women's basketball team. I'm sports anchor Molly Baltzer. And I'm sports anchor Carly Schwartzkopf. The Colorado State women's basketball team takes on the New Mexico Lobos tonight in Albuquerque. The Rams are sitting at a 24-1 record and still hold a perfect 14-0 in the Mountain West Conference. After beating Wyoming in the border war this past Saturday, the women's team is now ranked in the AP Top 25. This is the first time they've been ranked since 2002. A key player I'm picking for this game is Kiara Wary. She was out there killing it. She was looking like she was having a great time, and she just did awesome. And this, this game was actually the closest the Rams have gotten in these past few games. I mean, they've been killing these other teams, and against this Wyoming team, it was a little bit close. Yeah, for sure. I'm, these girls, I think they're going to pull off a win tonight, too. They've won 22 games in a row. Sometimes that can be a little nerve-wracking. You feel like you can't make any mistakes in the game, but these girls have got it down. They're, they have such good chemistry on the team. I think they'll be just fine. I think so, too. I mean, the Lobos are currently sitting at a 14-11 and 11 record and 7-7 seven and seven in the Mountain West, so I think the Rams are going to pull it off tonight. Yeah, I agree. The Colorado State men's basketball team put a stop to its three-game losing streak last night with a win against the New Mexico Lobos. The Rams played smart and worked the floor well. Co head coach Larry Eustachie told his team to focus on defense and rebounding. The Rams ex exceeded coaches' expectations by coming away with 15 offensive rebounds and defending the Lobos hard. The Lobos' defense, on the other hand, was weak and the Rams took full advantage, making perfect cuts and feeding our big guys down low. The Rams were unstoppable, pulling away with an 86 to 69 win. With Teal throwing down and a big dunk from John Gillen, this week's key player has, was harder than most, but ultimately I went with Emmanuel Mogbo, who picked up a double-double, tied his career high with 18 points and picked up 13 rebounds. He played really awesome. He did play awesome in this game in general. They came out with so much energy. It was good to see them finally get a win on the board. And, I mean, along with Emmanuel Mogbo, Teal Daniels had an awesome game. I mean, he was throwing dunk after dunk. He was so fun to watch. Yeah, this team last night, they played great. They looked like a team. They were passing it around. They were feeding it to each other. And like you said before, there were so many dunks. This game was so fun to watch. So fun to watch. In fact, our very own producer, Travis Green, I think made a video dedicated to Teal Daniels and his dunking game last night. Yeah, let's check it out. Damn, Daniels. Daniels. That video is so funny. I mean, it's so funny, and it's true. I mean, the, I, you got to give it to Tail Daniels. He, yeah. He did awesome. Everybody was saying that in the crowd, so it's pretty awesome that Travis made a video. Thanks, Travis, for that video. <laughs> the Colorado State softball team will face Long Beach State this Friday at 2 p.m. in Palm Springs, California. The Rams look to come back from their most recent loss in the UNLV tournament against Grand Canyon. The Rams had an overall 3-2 and two record in the UNLV tournament. And a big shout out to the men and women's track and field team as they compete this weekend in New Mexico for the Mountain West Conference Championships. For those interested in watching the competition, visit www.mwc.com. Carly, have you ever tried out an Air Zuka or a Zero Blaster? Surprisingly, I have not. I haven't either, but our CTV <laughs> entertainment anchor Emma Iannacone recently visited a toy store in Old Town that has those plus many more unique toys. Find out more after the break. Don't worry, the 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. Hi everyone.
everyone, I'm entertainment anchor Emma Anacone. Fort Collins is home to many unique local stores, but for those of you who enjoy boomerang slinkies and all things physics, boy do I have a treat for you tonight. I met up with a very interesting and very intelligent man who owns a toy shop in Fort Collins. However, the toys aren't your ordinary board games and etch-a-sketches. These toys demonstrate physics properties, such as the Bernoulli Principle. Lucky me, I got to play with some of these toys. And now, for the dramatic outdoor show! My name is Matt Hannafin with Science Toy Magic. Uh, here in Old Town Square, Fort Collins. We've been open in this location since December of 2008. The shop has more than one toy per square foot, and many of those toys were the first to sell in America at Science Toy Magic. Are you ready, Emma, for the Bernoulli Principle? And this is called the Erzuka. And... I wanted to find something really fun to do with my science, and so I thought I was going to go back into boomerang making, and as an afterthought, I added on some science toys, and well, you can see that the science toys just took off, and so the boomerangs are a smaller portion of the toys that I sell. 51 new toys are coming soon to the store from the International Toy Fair in New York. I had 700 hours of wonderful fun learning to throw boomerangs. And then in uh, 1987, I started handcrafting and selling my boomerangs. Hannafin has even invented a new kind of boomerang for the blind. Now he teaches free boomerang lessons once a month during March through September. The toys were very dramatic things that I thought would also be commercially uh, sellable. And, uh, but they had to be durable, they had to be the best made of their kind, but the key thing is that they have to demonstrate principles of science as if by magic, no matter which language you're speaking. Matt Hannafin gives science presentations in 10 different languages, including Mandarin and Irish. Pretty cool, huh? Science by Magic is located in the newly renovated Town Square. Now, as you probably know, the 88th Annual Academy Awards, also known as the Oscars, is this Sunday, February 28th. To get our Wednesday anchors ready for the big awards show, I came up with some trivia questions, and I will ask each of our anchors Frank Conley, Carly Schwartzkopf, and Elizabeth Prossy questions, and whoever gets the most questions right wins an Oscar. Now, okay, so first question, I think it's an easy one. <laughs> How many Academy Awards for Best Leading Actor, leading actor has Leonardo DiCaprio won? Carly, you got it first. He hasn't won any. <laughs> good, yeah, Carly gets a point. <laughs> All right, here's another good one. How many times has Jennifer Lawrence fallen at the Oscars? Liz, twice. Good, yeah. Once at, <laughs> on stage and once on the red carpet. Um, now, name one movie nominated for the foreign language film. Ooh. Was Sicario one of them? Nope. <laughs> 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 I don't think it's in the I don't know. I can't say. I don't know. All right, next question. What award is Fifty Shades of Grey up for? Um, original song. Nice! <laughs> 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 I haven't seen the movie, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song, though. It, really it is. is. Mm -hmm. All right. Who is the host of the Oscars this year? Frank. Chris Rock. Nice. All right. Um, what movie is... Oh, sorry. In 2000, someone stole 52 Oscars that were later found in the trash. Who stole the trophies? Oh, wait. Here are your options. Jennifer Aniston, a truck driver, Girl Scouts, or the show's hired DJ? I'm going to go with the DJ. Nope. Uh, Girl else? Scouts. Nope. <laughs> Truck driver. Truck driver. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a pretty funny trivia question. That is funny. That's I didn't know maybe if they random. were Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Um, all right. Uh, name as many as you can. What movies are nominated for Best Picture? Okay, Liz, you had it first. Um, the Revenant, Max Mary, or Max, Max, Fury Road, whatever. Um, there, uh, okay. Big Short, um, Brooklyn, and that's all I can think that's of. That's all you can think of? <laughs> all right, I'll give that one to you because that was quite a lot. All right, um, who won tonight? It was Liz. Liz, good job. I have your Oscar and Woo! a Coca Cola. Yay! <laughs> good game. Thank you guys so well, well much done. for being here. I'm sorry to those of you who didn't quite beat Liz. It's She's okay. just. 
she won last year too. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys. Have a good night. Be sure to watch tomorrow's new cast for the Holocaust Memorial coverage and tips on healthy cooking for diabetes. Have a great night, Rams. You're a sick. Yeah, that. <laughs>